What's up guys? It is a very cold, windy Friday here in the lovely state of Michigan and we got some fantastic news the other day. This is, it did come out a couple days ago. You guys might have heard of it already. Um, I got a notification on my phone, I think Sunday. So, but obviously it's four wheel Friday today, so we're gonna talk about it today, but I am very excited about it. But it does kind of put a little bit of a monkey wrench in the plans for 2019. And let's, let's explain what's going on. So, Dodge has decided that uh, they're gonna pull an Oprah, you get a wide body, you get a wide body, you get a wide body, everybody gets a wide body, because they are actually coming out with the Charger in a Scat Pack and a Hellcat in a wide body package. Now, what does that really mean? Well, that means that it's gonna get the same uh, suspension and brake package that the current wide body challengers have. It's also gonna get the 11 inch wheel that uh, comes on the uh, wide body packages and the, and the Demon and such. So there's a lot of really awesome things about the fact that they're, they're, ch they're also putting it into the charger. Now, there's a reason why I believe they've, they've chosen now to go to the charger for the wide body. For one, there's a lot of um, demand for wide body packages. I know that for a fact because me personally, I was going to get a TA 392 scat pack in September and then, you know, the deal fell through situations arose and I was unable to get the car. Funny thing is that car is still sitting at the dealership. But regardless, that was a saving grace because then I found out for 2019 that the Scat Pack's getting the wide body package, which I always really wanted. I just don't want to buy a Hellcat. And I'll explain to you that in a second too. But so I drove the Charger and I drove the Challenger when I was trying to decide which Scat Pack I wanted to get. And the Charger is awesome. It, I mean, the Challengers, and it, you know, you kind of expect that to be awesome. It's a two-door, it's a sports car, you know, rear-wheel drive. The one I, the one I was looking to buy had the six-speed in it. It was, it was a blast. But you couldn't really see out of it. That's what I don't like about the Challenger. Is it is a bitch to see out of. Uh, if you want to know what's to your right or to your left, good luck, more or less. So that kind of sucked. But really, that was the only quip I had with the car at the time. Of course, it was just a test drive, but the uh, guy from the dealership was nice enough to actually let me get it out on the freeway and really open it up. I'm not gonna say how fast I was going, but you probably shouldn't be going that fast before you've done the uh, break-in period. So, that being said, the Charger was more, I guess, what I was looking for. You can see all the way out of it, had a panor you know, had the sunroof. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the one that we drove is that it was destroyer gray. And I really fucking hate destroyer gray. I mean, I'm sorry FCA, but I really hate that color. I would much rather have a plum crazy purple than a destroyer gray all day. Just my personal opinion. At any rate, it was it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. Took took my wife, took my son. And uh, we went over and test drove it. Got to use the launch control at one time. That was that was pretty cool. I like that it has launch control. Uh, the paddle shifts are kind of like mm, laggy, I guess. But I'm not really surprised. It's not. It's not like a, it's a Ferrari or something like that, where I'm just gonna flip it and switch, you know, when it shifts. I, I get that, and we can we can. I guess tune it to get it better or at least quicker you know, there's ways around that eventually but that was the only other kind of thing and that's why i kind of wanted a manual which you can only get in a challenger so my plan was is, is the first week in july i intend to go and pick up a f8 green or an octane red scat pack wide body now, I haven't made a decision on the colors yet because I haven't seen the F8 green in person in a wide body. I really fell in love with the F8 green when I was going to buy that TA package, which has like the matte, the matte black, you know, TA stripe down the side of it, and it had a black hood, and the trunk was black, I believe. So the black kind of off 
to set the green just right to where everything looked really good. But you're not really going to get that on the um, wide body scat pack. It's just going to be all FA green. You can get like a black stripe on the back, which might be a thing that might have to be done if I did get it in FA green. But the dealer that I'm, I'm working with right now, which I might actually end up having to order the car through because I don't know if they're going to get the packages that I want into a car by that time. So I might just order it so I get everything that I want out of it. But they finally got one. Uh, they got one. She called me about five days ago. She said, hey, you want an FA green one, right? I said, yeah. She's like, well, I got one, so you can come look at that one too. So I've already gone over there and looked at the Octane red one, and I love it. There is one change I am going to make that is going to have to be like a, a purchase and something done through the dealer that doesn't come on the car normally, but does go for that for a Challenger. I'm not going to say what it is because I'll leave that to be the surprise, but it, it was something that was in the showroom gave me the idea and I'm definitely doing it. I already priced it out. Everything's going to be a couple settings. So when I get the car, it'll already be done. But that was the plan. First week of July, whether I ordered it or if I was just going to pick it up that you know that week, but I was I was expecting to have it in my hands the first week of July. Then that you know breaking news report came out saying that Dodge is expected to, is rumored to be doing the Charger also in a wide body. And that, that's what I'm saying. It puts a monkey wrench in it because I really, really liked driving that Charger in a, in a scat bag. Plenty of power. I can see out of it. It's got four doors. I have three kids. Um, you know, this was not supposed to be like a, a, a family vehicle, but it doesn't hurt. So that's where I'm kind of stuck now. The Charger's going to be two, coming out in 2020. As of right now, they're only saying it's going to come in two versions. You're only going to get it in the Hellcat, and you're only going to get it in the Scat Pack with a wide body package. Which isn't bad, because I don't want a Hellcat, I just want a Scat Pack. And there's a reason for that, in which we'll get to in a second. So, it, it works, but that's the thing too, is the Challenger looks right in a wide body. And the whole reason everybody wants a wide body anything right now is all the Liberty Walk cars. Anytime you see like a Liberty Walk Lamborghini or Ferrari or they've Liberty Walked, uh, you know, plenty of Hellcats, that's really taking hold. Like that whole design feature people really like. Beyond the fact that if you get a Challenger or a Charger with a, with a standard, you know, wheel package, you're getting a 245 rear tire. Now, if you get the Dynamics package, you get a 275 rear tire, but it's still only a nine and a half inch wheel. You're not really gonna go a whole lot bigger than that. You might get it up to a 295 or a 305, but the wide body gives you an 11 inch wheel with what I, if I remember right, is a three, uh, the, it comes with a 305 tire on the back, but you can put a 315 tire on it pretty comfortably. So, that's a lot of meat. And the one thing that I, after watching all the YouTube reviews of all the people that have bought Challengers and Chargers, the biggest bitch everyone had to pitch was the damn thing didn't get any traction. Well, drive around on pizza cutters, bro. What did you expect? Well, the 11 inch wheel changes everything. So now the biggest problem with that car is just not gonna be a problem anymore. You're gonna have an 11 inch wheel. You can put a, you know, a, a 315 Nitto 555R tire on that and you're gonna grab all day. It's gonna be not even a problem. Launch control is gonna be amazing. So I get, I get why they're doing it. My question's gonna be though, is it gonna look right? The Challenger looks right. Like it just makes sense for that to be a wide body car. Now that it is one. But I'm really, that's the thats the thing that's getting me, is I really would have to see the wide body charger. But this is gonna be a 2020 model, which means it's probably not going to be released or seen until the auto show 
next year. I guess. Actually, no. I don't think that'd be a thing, because I think the auto show moves to April next year, and they're going to want to release before that. So it'd probably be L.A., which I believe is in November, so it'd probably be the L.A. auto show in November. But I don't want to wait then, because then it just then I'll be missing out a whole summer worth of content that we could be doing with you know the seven sets of tires I'm probably going to go through. But again, I don't want to get the Challenger and then see the Charger and then really want the Charger and be stuck with my Challenger. So hopefully we get more confirmation on it and some spy photos. I'm just really curious on how it's going to look with the wide body on it because it, it's, sedans aren't necessarily meant to be a wide body style vehicle. You know, that's why most of them, when you like, when you see Liberty Walk sedans, they look really weird. So that's kind of where my concern is. So it's it's being stuck between a rock and a hard place, more or less. I have this I have this feeling it just isn't gonna look right and I should get the Challenger but I don't want to get the Challenger because if it does look right then I'm gonna be pissed that I got the Challenger. So I guess there's that. But let's move on real quick to my point about why a scat pack and why not the Hellcat. You know this this technically should be two videos, but we can get through this really quick. So for if you want a Hellcat that's properly equipped, right? You get quite a few of the options that are creature comforts that you're gonna want. You're gonna be right around 70 to 75,000, right? Okay. Now, a Challenger Scat Pack wide body package with all the options in it is 54 or five, okay? Call it 55 so that we can keep it even 20,000 between the two MSRPs, right? Now you're talking about a fully loaded Challenger versus most of the options, okay? You gotta think apples to apples here a little bit. So you're at 75 for a Hellcat, and you're at 55 for the Scat Pack, both wide bodies. The only difference is 6.4 liter, 485 horsepower, 6.2 liter, 717 horsepower. It's the only difference between the two cars. The thing that you got to look at is that the only thing that really separates them is a matter of what, 20, you know, 220 horsepower, okay, and it's in, in a supercharger. So the 6.4 liter uh, scat pack motor, Whipple has a 2.9 supercharger kit for that engine. It's a bolt-on kit, comes with the tuner already to it, you just plug, it's, it's bolt-on plug-and-play kit, okay? You can make some changes, some option changes in there if you want to, but it was 10 grand, the way I priced it out with the, the options that I would want, 10 grand, right? Now I'm at 65,000. What does 65,000 get me? 65,000 gets me 638 wheel horsepower. It's about 725, 730 crank horsepower. So for 10 grand, I get more power than the Hellcat. But you're probably thinking, well, if I put 10 grand into a Hellcat, well, this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, here's the thing. You spent $75,000 on that Hellcat. I spent 55 plus 10 for a total of 65, and I got more power than you. And my supercharger is 0.2 liters bigger than yours because this, the Hellcat supercharger is 2.7 liters. The Whipple one is 2.9 liters. So I have 0.2 liters more motor and 0.2 liters more supercharger than you do. So we're only like a cam, some headers, a full exhaust away from, from really just kind of walking in. But that's, that's what I was looking at. And I thought to myself, why why would FCA do that? It's like shooting themselves in the foot. Not really, because some people don't want to do that. Some people want the power. They don't want to go through all the crap that a 
it's going to take once we get parts and figuring out what parts you need and searching and trying to find a place to do it and find people to tune it, blah, 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 blah. They just want the speed. Okay? So they just buy it. You know, it's some people are built, not bought, and some people just rather buy it. I'm a built, not bought kind of person. If it's going to save me $10,000, $15,000, and I'm gonna end up with more horsepower in the same exact car, I'm going that road. I'm just gonna do that. That's far from an issue. And no, I, someone's probably gonna be like, well, you gotta think labor costs. I don't have to think about labor costs because I'm a mechanic, I'm just gonna put it on. I know exactly how it goes on and I'm just gonna put it on. And then it comes with its own tuner with a cal already in it. Yeah, once we start making other changes and stuff like that, then I'll either have to get a laptop with a tuning program and street tune it, or I'll take it over to one of my buddies who has a performance shop here in the Metro Detroit area and who is phenomenal at tuning, and just have him strap it down. You know, I'll street tune it a little bit, and then have him strap it down to the dyno, do a couple pulls, and just kind of fine tune where I left off, more or less. So, but this could easily turn into a red eye. You know, I could spend. I don't know, probably another five grand, right? So we'd be at what, 70? And it'd probably have as much horsepower as a red eye. And then, so you're you're right there around 800 crank horsepower, right? Same as a red eye. With the tune and all that stuff, and everything's in it. And you're sitting at $70,000. A red eye's 90 grand. You're spending $90,000 for a red eye. So I'm 20 grand cheaper the same car it's beautiful so that's that's kind of that's why i'm going scat pack instead of cap. that's why and insurance cost is going to be a lot cheaper it's a lot cheaper to insure a scat pack than it is a hellcat so i'm going to save money on not only the car but it's insurance as well so there's benefits there's a lot of benefits to getting a scat pack and building it up to a hellcat versus you know just buying a hellcat so, but I want to pass the question off to you guys. You know, what what do you think about this whole wide body charger setup? Do you think we should just get the Challenger in July? First week of July, we're going to pick this car up. One way or another, we are picking this car up first week of July if I do not get the charger or if I don't wait for the charger. So, what would you guys rather see? I'll let you guys decide this one. Do we do Challenger first week of July or do we wait for the Charger? Which one do you guys think we should do? You guys you guys tell me what you guys want to see on the channel. Do you want me to wait for the Charger for next year? Buy a brand new wide body, I'll fully option it, everything like that, and we'll do all sorts of crazy shit to it. Or first week of July, wide body Challenger, and still do a bunch of crazy shit to it. So Drop a comment below. You tell me what you guys want to see, what you guys want me to do. And who knows, man? Maybe we'll actually get the channel up and moving and monetize, and maybe we'll just buy both. Fuck it. But uh, yeah, I think that's just going to effectively end the video for today. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, hit that subscribe button. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. But until next